if that cow would have just agreed to become a slice of bread, then we could have made a tuna sandwich. It would have been so romantic. I don't understand what's wrong with animals in this world. Speaking of animals in this world, I don't suppose I can pick a fight with you, can I? I haven't done a whole lot to piss off the police, so, oh, that's a mistake. I don't even have any weapons. I don't think I can fist fight some kind of animal megazord as a slice of bread. What's up guys, welcome back to Deer Simulator. That game that's made the likes of National Geographic and the Discovery Channel completely obsolete. Because now we don't just have to watch nature, we are nature. I'm not really sure what kind of deer stuff we're gonna do today. You know, we could frolic in a field majestically, we could eat some grass, we could start a cult. Even though technically I can't call this a cult. Cults are illegal. This is a Facebook group. <laughs> Welcome to the group, new member. And I'm sure some of you guys are probably wondering, well, what's the difference? One is a gathering of batshit crazy lunatics who've been brainwashed into completely disconnecting from reality, and the other is a cult. Miss, I'm telling you, there's absolutely nothing weird about this. This is how my kind introduce one another. I'm telling you, you're being a little bit too stressed out. You know, your butthole's so puckered it could whistle. Isn't that so much better? This is what I'm talking about. Who doesn't want a Naruto run through traffic with their deer leader? Oops. Should I have not called myself the deer leader? Is that already being used by someone? <laughs> it's a different kind of deer, okay? Kim Jong can suck these deer nuts. Okay, fine, they're gonna send out the police chief. That's all right. I've got friends. Get them, boys. <laughs> Come to think of it, I've never had to fight the police before without guns. Who would have guessed that a bunch of jello sheep wouldn't be very good in hoof to hoof combat? Uh, guys, are we missing someone? Where did my favorite deer groupie go? The blonde one, she was here a second ago. I swear to God, if the police arrested her. Oh, we are gonna build an army. Excuse me, have you heard the word of our Lord and Savior, deer? Here we go, our numbers continue to grow. Soon we'll overtake the giant cow of the beach. Maybe even the koala will be the number one animal in this town, just you wait. For the love of God, will you guys please stop vandalizing stuff? We're trying to be a peaceful cult here. I, I mean, Facebook group. No, they're gonna send out the police bears. I need weapons. Does anybody know where I can find a weapon? other than the police driveway. Hold on a second, we, we just gotta go to the parking lot real quick and hit, there we go, there's some weapons. Don't mind if I do. Know this, police officers, we have the right to bear arms and peacefully protest. We will not be threatened by your bear arms, technically. Okay, now guys, please, just keep it together. Everyone, nice and peaceful, right down the street. I know that Naruto running behind me is hilarious. <laughs> Don't get me wrong, I think this is the best opening to an anime ever, but at the same time, we're just destroying the city. That's not the objective here. We're supposed to get people on our side. If there's even anyone left. Did, oh no, we didn't recruit the whole town. There's still a couple of losers. There we go, join us. They're not gonna run around the buildings. They're gonna run straight through the buildings, of course, okay. I could see a slight problem with trying to recruit the entire town. It usually means that there isn't gonna be much of a town left once you're done with things. Don't worry, I'm armed and dangerous. <laughs> yeah, jello sheep fall over a whole lot faster once you've got eight Ks for antlers. I don't suppose there's anything else around here for me? Oh, you know what? While other people were calling me a cult, I was studying the way of the blade. There it is, that's a good stuff. Ah. I don't think so, Plasma Rabbit. It's nothing personal, but this sword sucks. Okay, you know what? I, I kinda had that coming. Um, now you're all supposed to kill yourselves. That was the deal. They're not gonna follow through with it. Come on, I left a Kool-Aid recipe in my pocket. Okay, that's a little weird. Trust me, I know a thing or two about being a little weird. I was about to go rebuild, but I came across some kind of giant computer desk toaster. 
I know people run a lot of computer games on toasters, but at the same time, I would rather not play with one. Do I need a giant fork? <gasps> I guess we'll find out. So go ahead and position myself. Oh, that's dangerous. Where did the giant arm come from? Oh, what? Of I am bread fame. Don't tell me I just became bread. Don't, don't tell me the long arm of the law just used a giant toaster to turn me into brains. <laughs> oh my God, it's so much harder to control than deer. You know, I'm gonna need your help. We're just gonna, here we go. Hi ho, hypno horse away. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I can't wait for my mom to call me later so that when she asks what I did today, I could say, oh, you know, just had a couple hundred thousand people watch me play in traffic as bread on a zebra. I think Hypno Horse may have been freaking people out. Look, as soon as I got rid of him, all the ladies started cheering for me everywhere I went. They all want a bite of this thick slice of five foot nothing bread. <gasps> or toast, technically. Right, I, I just came out of a toaster. I, I'm wondering if I do a little jogging, do you think I could lighten up slightly? It's good to know that I, I I can't really move around like this, but I can still run. You know, deer crawled so that bread could run. Well, here's a million dollar question for you. What's stopping me from being heavily armed bread? Like, if I take this, then by the look of things, we are good to go. <gasps> oh my God. I, I gotta see what it looks like when I get fully equipped in the future is bread. Can I travel to the future is bread? I mean, the portal's still open. What's stopping me from just jumping on in? No, space and time seems to spaghettify my bread body and return it to its natural state. M maybe, no, definitely. Ah, oh, that's disappointing. And let me guess, they don't have toasters in the future. Yeah, it was right here, which means it's now under water. Uh, has anyone else noticed that public transport absolutely flies? And I don't mean like those cars. <laughs> okay, well, maybe we can, you know, make the best of a bad situation. On the upside, the police are all dead. We can kind of do whatever we want. Pick a fight with a giant rhino again. <laughs> There's gotta be something around here that I haven't seen. I wouldn't mind freeing the hamsters. I still feel like they deserve better and to be used as little fuzzy batteries for the rest of their lives. Hey, do you guys want to maybe stop pushing that and join me? Do you think the future is cult proof? There's no way they still have Facebook. You see, the trick to getting a whole bunch of followers is to walk on water. You know, if it can work for Jesus, then it can work for a future deer. <laughs> Excuse me, would you care to join? Thank you, and uh, maybe you as well. You guys are really beating the crap out of everything again, but our recruitment policy is going well if you would stop killing people. God, this crowd is unruly. I wouldn't mind getting a weapon or two. There's usually something in here. Uh, what is that? I think those are rockets. What happened to my antlers? Hopefully no one notices that I'm the only one in the group without antlers now. That's a little concerning. Oh man, you gotta be kidding me right now. I wanted to become Bread's motorcycle or, or like Bread rocket launcher. It's so upsetting that I can't use Bread now and it's also upsetting that you guys keep getting undeerified. There we go, get back up. And help me search these random graves. I need more, yeah, there we go, that's what I'm talking about. What's this person doing all the way out here? You don't get to walk on water unless you're a deer. That's how things work around here. I'm a poet and I didn't even know it. Holy crap, I've got crazy hops as well. I'm guessing I picked up some kind of jet pack at one point or another. Good to know. I just want a couple more weapons. I don't think that's asking too much. I'm pretty well armed now. I can't even see where I'm going. Just for the best to be perfectly honest. Is there anyone else left in the future? Oh, here we go, excuse me. Would you would you care care to join? It's, it's not. You don't really get a say in the matter. Oh my god! It's so it's so difficult to do any. I'm undeerifying people. Okay, you know what? Fine. We're at maximum capacity. That's it. It's gonna be a, a very exclusive club from here on out. I'm really curious what would happen if I tried flying through the city. Would the group just 
run through all of the buildings straight towards me. I'm pretty much future Godzilla at this point. It's ridiculous. I haven't even reached my final form though. Check it out, we got boots. I could always use some sweet boots. Oh, that was a neat little tuck and roll. There we go, now we're getting places. I look like the kind of transformer that you would get out of a Chinese Happy Meal. Like, I am not licensed in the slightest. I am, however, very interested in what's going on with this building. Because every time I come over here, there's something weird that keeps popping out. Oh, okay, yeah, you you, you need to die. That, that absolutely needs to die. Hello? Hello? Okay, okay, yep, we're fighting it. We are fighting it now. Oh. <laughs> I don't know if you're a fish or, or an eel or, or probably a kaiju to be perfectly honest, but there's only room for one at the top of the food chain right now and it's gonna be deer. Now that you're gone, what do we deal with next? Oh, uh, what? I didn't do anything. Hi? Oh, right. Yeah, that's a little weird. <laughs> Come on, man, it was the group, you know? They were they were running around beating stuff up. I was gonna pick a fight with a rhino, actually. You're a pretty big animal, and it's like I said, there can be only one. Get him, boy! <laughs> Something tells me I should be just fine. Oh, oh, okay, he's, he's spawning jello sheep. <gasps> I don't remember this at all. All. Oh, I see how it is. You guys want to team up on me, huh? Can't bear to have a little competition. God, you future animals are all the same. Well, my group will Naruto run on without me. <laughs> all right, you know what? The future can suck my croutons. We're gonna go back to the present, the, the, the past. We're gonna go back to being bread because I can think of a couple weird things that I want to try. First thing on my bucket list is to pull a Grand Theft Auto 5. The giant cow is watching. It really wants to see me do this loop-de-loop -loop and I'm not going to let it down. Come on! <laughs> You're gonna be kidding me. All I did was T-bone a family and completely demolish their vehicle. I'm gonna hold down on the gas anyway and just hope that it lets me through. Yeah! <laughs> Oh, oh, no stall, that's what I'm talking about. Tony Hawk can eat his heart out. Excuse me, coming through. Maybe if I stand completely still, they won't realize that, oh, no, no, they're onto me. Okay, well, I guess they must have put an APB out on a giant slice of bread and there aren't too many around. Excuse you, I don't think so. Being a single slice of bread is kind of lonely. Well, I, I wish I could either have another slice of bread friend or maybe a deer companion that I could turn into a slice of bread? I mean, a cow might do. Let's suppose I could grab hold of you by the udders. Okay, we're gonna go try something for science. How hard is it to squeeze a cow in a toaster? I don't understand why my bread is phasing in and out of reality. That's slightly concerning. I just want to get your moo moo in the slot. Come on now. It's for science. Very important science. Oh, come on. If that cow would have just agreed to become a slice of bread, then we could have made a tuna sandwich. It would have been so romantic. I don't understand what's wrong with animals in this world. Speaking of animals in this world, I don't suppose I can pick a fight with you, can I? I haven't done a whole lot to piss off the police, so, oh, that's a mistake. I don't even have any weapons. I don't think I can fist fight some kind of animal megazord as a slice of bread. <laughs> Come on, give me a mulligan. What, why do you gotta be like that? I'm, I'm forfeiting, don't put on the, the arms. Okay, yeah, well, bear arms, there's the joke again. Ha ha ha, doggo, son of a, Oh, this is gonna not go well. I'm, I'm gonna go down swinging, screw it. You know what, Batman says we don't need to be afraid of people like you, ow, ow. Okay, no, it's, it's just a, it's a flesh wound. I can't move. I, I can't, I, can't, I am, I'm literally crushed. I can't do anything. What, what, what is happening right now? 
And here I was thinking we had maybe six to eight weeks of physiotherapy to recover from that severe concussion and spinal injury he gave us, but nope, nope, we're apparently dead. No, it's hard to tell when you're a slice of bread, but trust me, that is dead. You know what, I think that's gonna be it for this episode of Deer Simulator, guys. I, I knew that there wasn't gonna be an update for a while, but I still really wanted to return because there's just a, a couple of little funny things for us to do, like being bred, but now I think I've actually covered everything. But if you guys wanna see me return for more, or whatever they release something else for the game, then be sure to leave a like in the video, leave a comment letting me know, and I'll return to resume the bread deer cult again soon. But thanks so much for watching this video, I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.